All right, on page 230, we are going to be practicing adding and subtracting fractions and mixed numbers to solve stories about recipes. So everybody should be on the page that says cooking with fractions. And let's look at word problem number one. Marta is making barbecued chicken. The barbecue sauce recipe calls for one eighth cup of mustard, one three eighths cup of lemon juice, and two eighths cup of brown sugar. All together, how many cups of ingredients are required for the sauce? The first thing that we're going to do is the number problem with the unknown va um, value. So if they're talking about all together, we know it's going to be addition. So when you're measuring something and you're putting it all together, you're adding it all up. So if he had, or she had two eighths cups of mustard, plus three eighths cups of lemon juice, two eighths cup of brown sugar equals C for how many cups are needed for the sauce. And what you can do is you can just add across because all the numerators are the same. So two plus three is five, five plus two is seven. So this recipe calls for seven eighth cups of ingredients to make that barbecue sauce. All right, number two, a vegetable soup calls for two fourth teaspoon of basil, one fourth teaspoon of pepper, one fourth teaspoon of oregano, two fourth teaspoon of salt, and one fourth teaspoon of garlic powder. How many teaspoons of herbs and spices are needed for the soup? So again, when you're doing a recipe, you're adding things all together in a bowl or in this case, in a pot of soup. So we're going to be adding. So we're gonna add all of the ingredients all together. So the 2 fourths teaspoon of basil, 1 fourth teaspoon of pepper, 1 fourth teaspoon of oregano, 2 fourth teaspoon of salt, and 1 fourth teaspoon of garlic powder. So, as you can see, the denominators are the same, so you're just going to add up all the numerators. 2 plus 1 is 3, plus 1 is 4, plus 2 is 6, plus 1 is 7. And you're going to get 7 fourths. Now, as you can see, 7 fourths is an improper fraction, so we have to make it into a mixed number. So you are going to decompose this fraction. If I take out a whole, which is four fourths, if I take four out of that seven, I'm left with three fourths. So seven fourths is equivalent to one whole and three fourths. So the one teaspoon and three fourths of another teaspoon of spices and herbs for a vegetable soup. This is a great thing for you guys to practice at home is they use a lot of measurement tools in a recipe. So I encourage you guys to get in the kitchen with your parents or family members and try some of these things yourself. Let's look at number three. Rainy had five seventh bottle of olive oil. I'm sorry, five sixths of a bottle of olive oil, two sixths of a bottle of grape seed oil, the bottles are the same size, and we know that because they're both in sixths. How much more olive oil does she have than grapeseed oil? And I always tell my class, when you think of how much more, I know you might instantly go to more is addition, but when they're asking you how much more, they're comparing two different things, so you need to use subtraction. So our number model is going to be comparing the olive oil and grapeseed oil. So she has five sixths of olive oil and you have to subtract how much grapeseed oil she has and we're going to go with B for bottle. Now if I were to, just, the denominators are the same, so if I were to subtract the numerators, I would get she has three sixths more olive oil than grapeseed oil. Let's look at number four. Michael made a pizza. He put eight tenth cup of green peppers, five tenth cups of mushroom on his pizza. 
How many more? Here's that many more again. So I like to make a little subtraction symbol so I don't forget. How many more green peppers are on the pizza than mushrooms? So the first thing we're going to do is the number model with the unknown value. And we are going to do 8 tenths, which is how much green peppers, minus 5 tenths, which is how much mushrooms. And I'm going to put G for green peppers because they're asking how many more green peppers are on the pizza than mushrooms. So 8 tenths minus 5 tenths is 3 tenths. So he has 3 tenths more cups of green peppers than mushrooms on his pizza. All right, number five, last word problem for this page. We need to chop four and one third cup of tomatoes. Now you'll notice all the other um, word problems had only fractions. Now we're getting into mixed numbers. There's whole numbers and fractions in this recipe. So we need to chop four and one third cup of cups of tomatoes, two and one third cups of radishes, and three and two thirds cups of carrots for the salad. How many cups of chopped vegetables do we need? So how many all together? So we're going to be adding. So let's do the number model with the unknown. So they have four and one third cups of tomatoes plus two and one third cups of radishes plus three and two thirds of carrots for how many vegetables are in the salad. Now. The way I like to do it and the way I encourage my students to do it is to do your fractions first in case you need to change from an improper fraction and you'd be adding another whole number. So I would always like to do the fractions first. So if I do one third plus one third plus two thirds, one plus one is two plus two is four thirds. So see, this is what I was talking about. This is a mixed, I'm sorry, an improper fraction that we need to take a whole out. Well, I know that four thirds is three thirds plus one third. I decompose that fraction to take out this whole, right? Three thirds is equal to one whole. So I'm going to put my one whole over here so I don't forget it. So this now becomes one and one third. So now I'm going to add up, I added up all the fractions, now I'm going to add up the whole numbers. So 4 plus the 1 that we took out from the fractions plus 2 plus 3. 4 plus 1 is 5, plus 2 is 7, plus 3 is 10, and I'm going to bring over that 1 third. So you get 10 and 1 third. I'm going to actually erase that hole because we brought it over there. So we're taking the one third that was left over when we added the fractions plus what we added for the whole numbers and we get 10 and one third cups. Okay, I'm going to erase my work over here so it doesn't get in the way of the 6 through 13 problems. All right, this is finding unknown values and you'll notice it's either the total or an add-in, a number you are adding. So, unknown value plus 6 tenths equals 9 tenths. So what plus 9, or plus 6 would give you 9? And you could do that probably mentally, but if you can't, you can make it into a subtraction problem. 9 tenths minus 6 tenths equals 3 tenths. So 3 tenths plus 6 tenths equals 9 tenths. Okay, seven, nine twelfths plus four twelfths. The denominator is the same, so I'm just going to add across and I get 13 twelfths. Well, I know that that is a improper fraction. So if I took out one whole, if I took 12 from this 13, I'd be left with one. So this is equal to one and one twelfth. So you could do 13 twelfths or one and one twelfth. Okay, number eight, five eighths minus two eighths is three eighths. You're just subtracting. And here you'll notice the unknown value is in the middle of the number model. So five sixths 
minus what would give me two six? Well, I know five minus three would give me two, and then the denominator stays the same. So five six minus three six equals two sixth. Number 10, 43 hundredths plus three tenths. So my denominators are not the same. And I'm actually gonna make this a little bigger so you guys can see. So we need to change three tenths, which we know if we just multiply by 10, this becomes 100 and this becomes 30. So 43 hundredths plus 30 hundredths equals 73 hundredths. And I'm actually gonna do 12 um, so I don't have to swipe my screen. So here is a, an example of adding fractions with mixed numbers. Remember, I told you, try to use those fractions first in case you need to um, make a conversion or take out a whole. So I'm gonna do an F for fractions. So 2 thirds plus, oops, 2 thirds plus 2 thirds equals 4 thirds. And I know if I decompose four and three thirds, I could take out three thirds, which is a whole, plus the one third that's left. Because if I subtract three from that four, I'm left with one. So your answer is one and one third. So if I do one and one third plus three, because now we're doing the whole numbers, plus three plus four, I get, 1 plus 3, which is 4, plus 4, which is 8 and 1 third. So your answer is 8 and 1 third. Okay, let's go over to 11 and 13. We went a little bit out of order here. 9 tenths minus 63 hundredths. So I know I could either do it two ways. I could change 63 hundredths to tenths, which is a little bit trickier, or I could change 9 tenths to hundreds, and we know we do that just by multiplying 10. So 10 times 10 is 100, 9 times 10 is 90. So now you could just subtract the numerators. 90 minus 63 is 27, and the denominator stays the same at 100. Okay, 5. It is 5 and 2 fourths minus 2 and 3 fourths. Now, I know what you're thinking. First subtract the fractions, then subtract the whole, whole numbers. But you have to notice, you can't take two away from three. It's too small. So what you're gonna have to do is take a one away from five to make it an improper fraction. So if I decompose this, I can get four plus four over four, right? Because I'm taking one away one whole number to make it a fraction, plus two fourths, which is four and six fourths. Now, since the numerator is bigger, now you can do the fraction and whole number, okay? So if I did the fractions, six fourths minus three fourths, I get three fourths. And if I do 4 minus 2, I get 2. So the answer is 2 and 3 fourths. Okay, so I hope this makes it a little bit clearer how you would use fractions in everyday life while you're cooking recipes at home. So if you watch the next video, I'll go over all of the math boxes for Lesson 7-1.